And nowadays, GCMS um, instruments are very automated. So in the past, one would have to inject the samples manually. By now, we have auto samplers. So we have these little trays that can be cooled um, in some circumstances, where one can put up to 100 or 150 samples in there. Um, and on a computer, one just makes a list with um, the individual sample names, um, with methods, how they should be analyzed. And once that is run, the GCMS can essentially run throughout a few days and do inject samples automatically. Um, the only thing one needs to do is periodically check whether it's doing its job right. Um, and then once it's done, um, the big part is actually interpreting the data and working with the data. The other thing, the other aspect of working with the GCMS is maintenance. Of course, we need to change columns occasionally because we use different columns um, within the instrument for different compound classes that we're interested in. Also, we need to clean parts um, on a regular basis, um, replace parts on a regular basis. And some of the more sensitive instruments, they actually need to be tuned before analysis. So we can't just tell the software, okay, get everything ready, we're going to analyze it, but we actually have to manually regulate different parameters to get it in top shape before we do the analysis.